What's up, everybody? I got, a topic I got a topic today on Seth Rollins and CM Punk and how they're both similar. Like, if it, I thought about it, you know, think about it. how did CM Punk win his first championship in the WWE? Well, World Championship. Now, you know how CM Punk won it? He cashed the money in the bank. Just like Seth Rollins did at WrestleMania 31. Although CM Punk cashed in on Edge, I believe, and won the championship. Um, CM Punk's actually cashed in twice. He cashed in on Edge, and he also cashed in on somebody else. Forgot who it was. Oh yeah, Jeff Hardy, yeah. It was Jeff Hardy and Edge. Now CM Punk cashed in at WrestleMania 31 and won that triple threat match. That's one way there, that's one way why CM Punk and Seth Rollins were similar. Both arrogant heels as well. CM Punk was an arrogant heel, saying that he didn't feel like he was the man, he wasn't a star, you know. And so he turned his back on the fans. Seth Rollins, so CM Punk sold out, and Seth Rollins sold out because, um, you know, he just wanted to find a path of his own, you know. So they both kind of sold out. <laughs> but no, but they just didn't call CM Punk a sellout, the same as Seth Rollins, you know. But they both sold out. That's another reason why they're both kind of similar. Both are the same kind of styles, both kind of like, you know, athletic kind of kind of body type. You know, they have similar, not really similar moves. CM Punk had the GTS. Seth Rollins has the curb stomp. Two moves that are used both by feet. You know, and both can cause a lot of damage. Um, I just see Seth Rollins being kind of like CM Punk is all. You know, they have different tires, but you know, whatever. Um, now Seth Rollins. He might face Brock Lesnar eventually. CM Punk faced Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam, so we might see Seth... I mean, yeah, CM Punk faced Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam, so maybe Seth Rollins will face Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam, you know. Paul Heyman kind of aligned himself with Seth Rollins for a little bit, kinda, but then Seth Rollins turned on him. Paul Heyman aligned himself with CM Punk, but CM Punk said, I'm still a Paul Heyman guy, but CM Punk kind of turned on Paul Heyman, <laughs> you know. And that led to a Sam Punk ride back storyline kind of thing. But I'm just saying, he's got some similarities between both of them. From what I've brought up in the past, you know. But, I'm just saying, when you look at Seth Rollins, you kind of see how he looks kind of similar to Sam Punk. <laughs> he, reminds me, he reminds me so much of him. Both high flyers in a way, you know, both have similar moves, similar ways they became champions, similar ways they sold out, you know. Seth Rollins just reminds me of CM Punk a little bit. That's all I'm going to say. Sorry I keep repeating myself. But anyways, do you see CM Punk and Seth Rollins being similar? Do you see, do you, what I tell you right there kind of give you an idea of how they're similar? Or are they really not that much different? That's all I want to say. That's the topic today. The topic today is, are Seth Rollins and CM Punk similar? That's all I want to say. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Subscribe if you want to. Bye.